Hello and welcome to one of the world's most cosmopolitan cities. We're in Bangkok, the Thai capital, for more top-class badminton action. Here's our venue, it's the Impact Arena, and it's day two of the Toyota Thailand Open. Had some terrific action yesterday. We're hoping for more of the same today. Don't forget, we've got live coverage on two courts. Stay with us, you'll be on court number one. Hope you enjoyed the Yonex Thailand Open that we covered last week. Uh, this particular tournament, we'll cover it all the way through until the finals, of course, on Sunday. And then starting in week today, it's the World Tour Finals, postponed originally from Guangzhou in December. So next Wednesday, make a date in your diary all the way through until Sunday, the 31st of January. Here's our lineup today then, starting off with the men's seventh seed, Unkar Long, favorite to beat Wang Sharawan, even though he's lost their only previous meeting. Mixed doubles to follow, Danish duo Christiansen and Boy against a Thai pair just about inside the world's top 50. After that, it's the battle of the teenagers in the women's singles, always a treat to watch the precocious talent of Anse Jung. Youth versus experience in the men's doubles, two young Indonesians versus the veteran Russians Ivanov and Sozanov. Before a women's doubles, where only one of the four has the key to the door. 20-year-olds Raul and Maryland already have five titles as a pair. Other highlights today? Well, we've got the men's number two seed, Chiao Tian Chen, and last week's women's champion, Carolina Marin. And if you're a doubles fan, as you can see, we've got you covered as well. Well, here's how the men's singles draw uh, is panning out in the very early stages, still round one matches. You can see our match there, the second on that list. Potential meeting with the number two seed, Chiao Tian Chen, in the quarterfinals if things progress as expected. from Thailand. Versus Eun Ka Long Angus from Hong Kong, China. So players on their way Robert to Tommy number Osorino one call. From Indonesia. Service judge. My name's Trevor Harris, alongside me today is Steen Pedersen, and Steen, this is an interesting men's singles to kick us off. I mentioned Unkar Long is ranked higher, but he's lost to any previous meeting. Yeah, back in 2018, uh, fantastic match here in, in the first round, that is these uh, Super 1000 tournaments, that is uh, the best of the best. Um, so... Uh, we're in for a treat to um, start the day off with here in uh, Bangkok. Obviously, no handshakes under the uh, current circumstances. The players are under strict quarantine. COVID protocols being observed. There's that last meeting that Steve was mentioning, Hong Kong Open 2018. All the players staying at the same hotel. Actually, the Thai players are at one specific hotel, but everyone else in the same place in a COVID bubble, which includes literally just the hotel and the venue here. And obviously regular testing as well. The creativity of some of the players, Steen, never ceases to amaze me. We, you watch some of these little videos they've been doing, exercising in their room. It's, 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 it's heartening, actually. Yeah, it's great. Puts a lot of pressure on the rest of us to, to do the same. Yeah, apart from the exercising in my, uh, on my part. Anyhow, let's give you some information about these players. Wang Sharawan, who's 22 now. He's ranked uh, 15th in the world. He has been as high as 12, as you can see there. He won a World Championship bronze in Basel in 2019, where he lost to uh, Antonsen in straight games. 
Quite likes playing in this country because he made the final of the Thai Masters back in 2017 and was something of a precocious talent. First final, Singapore, he was just 16 years of age. He actually had to retire injured in that match. And on the other side of the net, and Carl Long, who's four years older than his opponent today, seeded seven, ranked eighth in the world. That high ranking you see there was back in late 2017. But he's one of those players that can beat anyone on his day. The likes of Lin Dan, Chen Long, Chao Tian Chen, etc. Thai Masters winner last year. And he actually reached the final of uh, this tournament in 2019, lost out to Chao Tian Chen in the final. Nai covered his match, uh, one of his early matches last week in the Yonex. Thailand Open and he looked he looked pretty good to me. Yeah, reached the final. Lost to Axelson. Ready to play? Like he normally does. <laughs> Nine zero down in head to heads against Axelson this and Cologne, so. Yeah, that's not good. Uh Rezan uh, Roshan Omid is the service judge here and Tommy Oscoriano from Indonesia is in the umpire's chair. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Kantapong Wang Chari, Thailand. And on my left, Ng Kalong Angus, Hong Kong, China. Kantapong Wang Chari to serve, luck all, play. So here we go, first action on day two, this Toyota Thailand Open. Subtlety already from the tie. Placement. Over one oh. We saw yesterday, uh, Trevor, that there was a lot of drift here in um, the Impact Arena. Um, I have, I'm interested to see whether it's uh, the same today. I feel it's a bit warmer coming in this morning here in in the arena, and um, I wouldn't be surprised if if the drift wasn't as severe as yesterday. The uh, drift alongside the court, the sideways drift, has been pretty stable. Um, throughout the last tournament last Two. week, the Yonex Thailand well. Open, and, and yesterday seemed pretty much the same here on court one, left to right, sideways drift, and drift alongside the court from Wang Chalun towards uh, Ung Kalong. And Ung Kalong, he won the uh, coin toss and elected to start on this side here, which is a little surprising to me, but uh, it indicates that uh, he's out that to get a over. really good start. Two. Don't want to get. Um, oh. Wang Chalong going with his um, attacking game. Very, very um, explosive player, Kantafong Wang Chalong. And um, a little bit the opposite to this man, who uh, is more deliberate, um, relies on um, shot making and um, economizes his um, movements a lot. Not that he can't um, do the things that's needed, but. Um, a bit more calm in his attitude. Over. It feels Three. distinctly yeah. warmer than it did yesterday. And I think actually that was the case last week. The first day it yeah, was it was, was kind of cooler in the hall and uh, maybe just takes a day or so to warm up. But uh, it's, it's a little bit of a pity that... Um, On court three. That it's um, a bit uh, different playing conditions from day to day here in the first round matches. Inside, well inside the back line when he hit that smash and Kolong. 
Guayana from Indonesia. Solicitor. Hermin Amir from Iran. I think Wang Sharon has to stay patient here in these. There are going to be a few lengthy exchanges and try and hit too many ambitious winners too early. Now, and, and that's a fine balance because on the other hand, he also have to put pressure on, um, on Kalong. Even if um, it's considerably warmer and there should be less drift than yesterday, uh, which I think is the case, then there will still be some, and um, you will benefit from keeping the shuttle downwards. Wang uh, Charun. That's it just such a great point, isn't it, for Ng Ka Long? Yeah. Six. Controlling. Three. And the rally. Just never looked in trouble at any stage during that point. In the end, the kill was relatively straightforward, but he worked the opportunity. That's a good leave. Good Over. placement Seven. from Anka Long, who's uh, relying on uh, shot quality. Shuttle's now got from the dispenser rather than the service judge. Any opportunity to avoid hand to hand contact, obviously, a good thing, current circumstances. Yeah, it's one less person that uh, the players are in contact with. They have no uh, exchanges with the uh, service judge, no physical exchanges. Well, he needed that because at the moment... And Carl Long's Five. going through pretty much the full repertoire. We've seen the deception, the jump smashes, great net game. Had to try and make something happen on that occasion. Well, Sharon and did. They played a really good net game um, last Six. week, did uh, and Carl Long. Eight. Gonna need it again here. Especially notice the match against uh, Cho Chen Chen where he got off to a really bad start in the first game was down 15-3. I uh, remember. But got his game going eventually. Seven, eight, it's a former World Team champion, Han Kalong in the men's doubles actually. Not so often we see the change um, from doubles to singles, or I guess he was a pretty good men's singles player already back then, but um, also uh, on the double titles with uh, Lee Chun Hei. Eight. Oh. Well, good little mini comeback here. Four eight to eight all for the man from Hong Kong, China. Yeah. Oh. 
service over nine eight. I always think he looks a really uncomplicated player in Carl Long. And that's that's meant as a as a compliment. Yeah, he doesn't make things more difficult than they need to be. Eight. Often the legs to stay on the ground for his uh, smashes. I'm not really certain whether there's been any um, research on it, but I could easily uh, imagine that it's actually more efficient in terms of movement than jumping. I know there's been research in. Um, downhill skiing where they sometimes uh, jump and fly for a long while where they've measured that it's actually faster staying on the ground there I don't know if the same goes for badminton interesting so two very different playing styles um, these two Well, it always looked like it was going to be potentially a close one, this. And there's only going to be a point between them. And they go for the interval momentarily. Oh. And it's Carlo who has the fractional advantage, 11-10. He leads at the mid-game interval. Played a few of those already. Yeah, I think there's a lot of players that could um, um, sort of uh, learn something from um, Inkelong's approach. Sometimes that placement is really, really important. It doesn't necessarily have to be maximum power. Still ended up too short and a little bit lucky that uh, Wang Chiron came up on top of that rally. 11, Ooh, missed it by a, by a long way in the end. with the way he started in Cologne uh, after reaching the final last week, finishing runner-up. 
Challenge. So first, yeah, first challenge of the morning. Both men have two challenges available per game. So we're going to refer this to Hawkeye. The shuttle was called in, and he was pretty close to it. The tie. So he must think he has half a chance of getting this decision reversed. Let's have a look. Yeah, good decision to challenge. Yeah. Direction out. Yeah, so it will. It would. It would be. Um, it wouldn't be unseen so that uh, this 12, perhaps could 13. be a too tough a position already in the first round, given the uh, withdrawals from the Japanese team due to the uh, coronavirus of um, Kento Momota before they left for this tournament. There's been some some softer spots in the draw. This is definitely not a soft spo so spot. Over. And 14, if you think too. Well much ahead then you would think okay this is a tough draw already in the first round there's going to be a long way to go so you have to chop it up in uh, smaller bites and say hey i just want to play a good first game here one match at a time is yeah. the mantra yeah it is deception from uh, wang chilong Rolling the rally again. Last uh, the number one tie player is doing a lot of the running. That's well played. He actually fought his way back into that alley pretty well, even before the winner, didn't he? Service over. 13, 14. Good little deception there. Does the trick at the net. That one. Good placement again. Service over. 15, 13. And the bomb. And the bomb. Yo, it's over. Yeah, I wasn't sure, was he? When Sharon Weather and Colon was going to go cross court down the line with that to kind of cover both exactly. eventualities. It's so important for players to. Uh, Keep the options open. That you'll vary your game, not play the same shot every single time. Same shot that worked two rallies ago, but under much more pressure here. Wang Kalong and um, no, no, sorry, Wang Chalong. Service over. Fifteen, sixteen. So the good news for Wang Chalong is that he's still. Very much within striking distance from the presumably more difficult uh, side of the court. I think it's already safe to say that our prediction, Trevor, that um, the playing conditions are better today than yesterday has uh, has come through. Well, it'll be interesting to see in game two whether there appears to be any kind of uh, advantage on that side. Meanwhile, the ties got to within a point now. Really trying to pressurise the seventh seed. And he's got to be careful now uh, on Kalong. Last week's runner-up because um, 
Uh, Jerome is definitely capable of uh, scoring quick points with his uh, strong attack. So his return though. Excellent play by Ian Kalong. That's over. 17-15. Only been playing for about a quarter of an hour, but already you could kind of feel the energy sapping nature of that point. And it was um, one quality sh shot after another. There was uh, a little bit of um, reminiscence of uh, Chen Long's playing style in that, where you just... Um, grind away in the rally and eventually put your opponent under so much pressure that it's um, a fairly easy kill for you. Refuses to go away in this opening 16, game, Wang Sharon. Certainly keeping Kong Wang honest. It was uh, gift wrapped. Well worth a fist pump. 17. Oh. And we also have to um, to credit uh, Wang Charun because he's also played with the required patience, and waiting for the chance. If it's not the first time he's been ahead in the game, it's the first time for a long time. How hard did Unka Long have to work Over. to win that point? 18, 19. 
And that's a little bit of, um, of a weakness in this match that he has to work so hard to score his points. That also means that um, if uh, Marcelone can stay in the rally long enough, then um, he would be there to capitalize on any uh, inaccuracy from uh, the uh, Hong Kong player. Forty shots in that rally and then ends running four points for Wang Chiron. So situation looks like he was looking to up the pace. Um, Uncle Long really important to be there, to be ready. Ooh. Well, that is careless to say the least, and it's gifted a game point yeah, to the tie. But I like the idea, the change here when things get important. It was just the execution that uh, lacked behind. A shot to uh, save the game point. It's left Wang Shaun scrambling again on the deck. Now a game point for the number seven 21, seed, 20. having saved one. Utilising the fact that it's a little bit more difficult for Wang Chirun to uh, lift, probably also not what he wanted to do, he wanted to win the net exchange, but if it's too obvious then you make it a little bit more difficult for yourself, that's well played. Well, he gets home 22-20 in the opening game to Zun Long. A real battle with Wang Sharon, but in the end, just about had enough to see him through. 22-20, the seed takes the opening game. Do
one, twenty seconds, call one, twenty seconds. Second game, love all, play. Service over, one, love. It's going to be interesting to see whether Kalong can continue his... Um, a rally playing style and um, find the correct length on um, the back line of uh, Wang Charun. Over. Or he have to um, oh. apply a little bit more attacking style. For Wang Charun, it's about. Getting to use the full court and sort of make the court big for Kalong. You should uh, take comfort that he wasn't that far behind in um, the first oh. game. Oh, yeah, that's a great shot. But um, perhaps also a little bit lucky because had he gotten out of the way, it might have actually gone long. The yeah, um, attempted it, kill. I think it would have. Yeah. Imme immediately a, a hand of apology as his protocol. But uh, oh, flush on the nose, I think, was it? No problem with that one. No. Short lift. Three. But um, great punishment by um, Uncle Long. I think Wang Chiron, he could um, try and cover the straight smashes a little bit more than, um, than he's been done from that uh, forehand side. I think um, I can recall seeing his opponent try and hit the uh, cross smash on the forehand side. So. Service over two, three. Another point where Nkarlon completely dominated Five, that rally. Two. She made a very solid start to this second game, having just about edged the first. You could see how much of a runaround he was giving his opponent in that point. from uh, Cologne but um, misses the opportunity there. Service over. Three, five, six, seven. Three, four. 
He does unerringly hit those lines, doesn't he? Either hits over. the lines or yeah. just inside. Six, three. Fantastic play by Hyun Kalong there. Seven, three. Well, it just wears him down, doesn't he, at yeah, the moment? And he, he doesn't give Eight. any opportunities Three. away to uh, Wang Chiron, or very few opportunities away to uh, Wang Chiron. And um, um, I mentioned it earlier, uh, perhaps it was last week in that tournament, or I can't remember if it was yesterday, where I, I criticized some of the Thai singles Nine. players, both women and men's Three. singles players, a little bit, saying that. Um, the accuracy, the shot quality, and the technical skills are uh, something where they could um, where they could improve, and um, that would benefit their game immensely, in my opinion. Yeah. Again, we saw a very tricky serve from uh, Uncle Long. I'm, I'm very impressed by um, by his play here in the second game. It's sort of a middle serve. See that serve? There's a lot of pace, and it goes almost into the. Um, body of uh, Wang Chiron there's no chance of spinning it no chance of playing it close to the net that that's really brilliant in my opinion oh. yeah forced to uh, take a 11, three, small three, chance four. and uh, an easy point for the Hong Kong man well, I don't think either of us saw this kind of a, a score line at the interval in game two it's been a really dominant display in the last few minutes from the man from Hong Kong, China. Put himself in a great position to consolidate and go through to the next round. And this, you know, would have cons considered to be a tough draw against a dangerous tie. Just 10 minutes so far in the second game for those 14 points. So much to do here for the Thai if he wants to get back into this game and therefore the match to start now pretty much obviously we didn't Service see many unforced errors from and Carlong first few points of this game but he, ha he is a player who can win points in clusters the time situations where perhaps did not end up with the right choice uh, Uncle Long, but that's easy to say when you've seen the outcome. It's much more difficult when you're chasing towards the net, have to make a decision. It's the old Monday morning quarterback syndrome. 5-11.
service over 12 5 This time it got um, a little bit too that high, that um, six, long, one. low service. So he, he aims to get it directly to the body, and that leaves really no choice for um, Wang Chiron than to play flat back. It's very difficult to play it with accuracy into the net. So He's simply uh, outthinking his uh, opponent is uh, Unka Long. Tyrone, he's, he's got to be able to um, find an answer to that. Uh, of course, it would be really nice for him if he can find it now in this match, but he also got to find it um, going forward because there's going to be other players that are going to be alert to um, this service here and are going to use it against him. Seven, four, two. Gonna be sick of the sight of that uh, shot, isn't he? Uh, Matt Wan Sharon after seven. this match. Placed cross smash 16, from uh, seven. the backhand side of Unkalong. And, uh, there's very few occasions where he has to adjust his footwork um, radically, so to speak. Um, I always have like one or two choices left for Wang Charun, and uh, that makes it a lot easier to uh, play badminton when you can limit your opponent's possibilities. Now a distinct air of inevitability Seven. about the outcome here. He really has stepped it up in this yeah. second game. Service over. Well, if he comes back now, then it won't be his biggest comeback of the tournament. I think Samir Verma from India yesterday was um, something like this behind. I think it was 6.17 or something like that. Against uh, the ECG. Just doesn't look likely here, though, does it? With the best one in the world. It's not that. Wang Xiaomong has stopped eight. trying. He's just second best in virtually every point in this game. This is a 
statement from uh, Uncle Long that he's to uh, be taken seriously also in this tournament. Oh, that's a good return, good block by Wang Charun. Well, he got his racket there, maybe an element of good fortune, but he certainly came out the middle of the racket, was hit very powerfully. Yeah, good shot. Almost certainly, though, a bit late. Yeah, you saw the kind of half hand of apology. Okay, wasn't quite sure where that was going, but. Excellent reactions. No. Nice two. Eleven nineteen. Oh. Oh. So that error. It's and Carl Long, 20, nine match points. Well, at one stage, it looked like it was going to be a lot more difficult than it actually was. It was pretty comprehensive, certainly in that second game after a real struggle in the opener. But an excellent display from Unkar Long. He goes through to the last 16 against potentially a dangerous opponent. And in the end, a match that didn't last as long as many expected. So the man from Hong Kong, China wins 22-20, 21-12 in 46 minutes on court. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, mixed doubles. Stay with us.
Well, a warm welcome back to the Impact Arena here in Bangkok. We're in the northern suburb of the city. Around 